been speaking at a video marketing conference in Dallas for a few days and dropped Hallie and Toby off at their grandparents' house in Oklahoma City. And this morning, it's time for us to fly home, come back to Cincinnati, and see the rest of the family. Let's go make sure you remember what these people look like and who they are. <laughs> it's the twins! This guy has paved the way for thousands, if not millions of creators worldwide, helping them to realize their dreams of video creation. Please put your hands together for the one, the only, Tim Schwein. I've been speaking at a video marketing conference in Dallas for a few days. If any of you watch me over my other channel at Video Creators, you've heard me say many times that I love YouTube because I think it's an amazing platform to reach people and spread a message that can change their lives. And thankfully, there's more and more people who want to use YouTube to reach people and change lives and grow businesses and create value for people. And so when I have an opportunity to stand in front of people, make eye contact with them, and, and say, here's how you can reach people and change their lives. I take that as a tremendous opportunity and responsibility. This is the time where my mission and my passion for YouTube can align with where other people's mission is and the impact that I could potentially have on people's lives by influencing other influencers is like huge. I get really excited about participating in events like that and I really hope that my talks and my presence at events like this can really make a huge impact on how people do that going forward. Good job, Tim. Do you wanna say goodbye to Grandma's house? Are you really sleepy and tired? Yeah. 5.30 in the morning and we have to go to the airport go get on an airplane to go back to see mommy and Hannah and Zeke and Karis and Chloe and Livia. You wanna do that? Did you have fun at grandma's house? Yeah, I'm well, starting to go, okay? I don't really like leaving my family to go speak at events. I mean, I like speaking at events because I like giving value to people and I love serving them and I love helping them out on their projects and on their mission. You ready to go, Tobes? Okay. You all buckled? Uh -huh. Allie's getting buckled. We're very thankful that my in-laws, Dana's parents, were able to take Hallie and Toby for a few days just so Dana could relax at home a little bit more with fewer kids than she normally has. Are you awake? Your muscles gonna work? Let me help you out. You're cold. Here, we got your blanket in your backpack. Get out, okay? You need help, Toby? Go. Got it? It might be easier to drag it, Hallie. Is that easier? It was not uncommon for me to get looks and comments from people going through the airport like, wow, you certainly have your hands full. And I'm thinking, you have no idea. I have five other people just like this at home. And they're like, wow, dad, I can't believe you're not stressed. I'm like, oh, this is nothing, believe me, compared to what it could be like if I had everyone here, this is easy. <laughs> I think it just goes to show that what expectations and stress levels you have are, are all relative based on your situation. For some people, going through an airport with two little kids would be super stressful. For others, like me, going through an airport more like with seven little kids would probably be stressful. But with two, you know, I'm thinking like, no, that's totally fine. That's why Toby has two windows. Toby, you can see everything, can't you? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Are you excited to go home and see mommy? You miss mommy and your and your brothers and sisters? Uh, <laughs> you had fun at grandma's, didn't you? Daddy. Yeah. Are you a puppy? You be a silly. You be a silly. Toby, <laughs> are you excited to go home and see mommy and your brothers and sisters? Alligator. Alligator? Yeah. 
he's in a silly mood. <laughs> I think guys, you're excited. Boarding is complete, flight attendants prepare the cabin for departure. Let's go. Airport, got a couple hours layover. The kids are trying to decide where they want to eat for breakfast. So we've got Chick fil A, we're Dunkin' Donuts. Dad, I want Chick fil A. I'm Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts and Chick fil A? Yeah. Oh, now Daddy has to decide because it's a tie. What should Daddy choose? Chick fil A for breakfast. That's what you wanted, right? And it looks yummy. Tell me about what you did at Grandma Grandpa's house while I was gone. I saw. Two butterflies that were twins, and I also played sand. Sand in their backyard in the sandbox. And I also watched TV. Did you happen to go anywhere special to eat? Did you get something special? Mm -hmm. Where were you at the Brahms? I heard. Mm -hmm. And what did you eat there? I ate. I ate a burger. A burger and. <gasps> Big ice cream cone. Oh, and I also got crackers. Crackers, ooh, yummy. What'd you do while I was speaking at an event? What'd you do? And I played in the sand and I watched a movie. Watch movies and play in the sand with Hallie? And I found two rocks. Two rocks? And I found two rocks. <laughs> you both found rocks? It was special. I really missed you guys when I was gone. You know that? I missed you guys. I got you missed me too. I got yeah. Eggs. Yep, you got eggs. We're on our way to our gate, but we had to make a pit stop because the kids saw a big candy display. And we're like, oh, can we go look? Can we go look, we're not gonna buy anything. Trying to navigate an airport with Hallie and Toby is so slow. Like number one, they just walk slow. And then two, they stop and like wanna look at everything and comment about things. And they walk, they talk really loudly because like, they're so excited, they're like yelling. They're just super excited <laughs> to be in an airport and uh, hopefully be going home. Here's your ticket, Toby. Here's your ticket, top one. Don't lose them. Follow the tunnel. We're like in a glass tunnel, huh? This is our last flight home. When we get off this airplane, we're gonna be in Cincinnati. Be next to the engine. You are, look at that. You got the engine. This is gonna be really loud right there. I gotta keep my Grandma sent me with some treats for you guys. Hallie, you want a present from Grandma? Yeah! You want? Grandma gave you that. Isn't that cool? It's like a squishy it's a salamander. Salamander. It's a salamander. And Hallie, Thank Grandma you. sent you this. Oh. Isn't that cool? Oh. Say thank you, Grandma. Thank you, Grandma. Cincinnati Airport. We are. I love arriving at the Cincinnati Airport. That place feels like home. I get so excited in there. It's just kind of like, oh, I made it. I am just one short drive away from getting home and I get really excited about seeing that airport. Back in good old Cincinnati. Go. Go Toby. Oh, good job. You're not scared of them now, huh? You big boy, you're all brave. Last time we came here, Toby, you were scared of escalators. Can you do them now? Let's see, ready, set, go, it's a big one. Good job. Okay, hold my hand, hold my hand. There you go, ready, set, go. Good job, Toby. I got you. Oh, you gonna let go? <gasps> Good job, Toby. You do it all by yourself. All right, you gonna do it by yourself, Toby? Yay, that wasn't so bad, was it? You did it. <laughs> Would you guys say that you're better friends now than you were before you went to Grandma's house? Do you like each other, playing with each other more than before? Yeah. Yeah? 
Is Toby your like your best friend now? I was hoping that by spending time together alone without their other siblings that they would form a better bond, a better relationship, and I think I can tell the best. I think this is the first time Hallie and Toby have had dedicated time just with each other. Like no other no other siblings or parents around, just the two of them. And I'm curious to see how they've connected and how well maybe they've bonded together and how their relationship has hopefully grown as a result of these past few days together. Hey! Oh. oh cool, you got some wings. Now you're like a pilot. Cool. We're in our car, driving home. Who's Boo! excited to go home? Boo! You don't want to go home? Mm -mm. You don't want to see Hannah and Zeke and Mommy and Livia and Karis and Chloe? Mm -mm. It's like our whole family. You don't miss them? Mm -mm. Why don't you want to go home? I don't like the number what them look like. You don't remember what Mommy looks like? You don't remember what Hannah and Zeke look like? You don't remember what Livia or Karis or Chloe look like? Mm -hmm. Toby, do you remember? You better go home and fix that because that would be sad if you don't remember what your family looks like. <laughs> Let's go make sure you remember what these people look like and who they are. Do you remember? Let's go look. Yeah! It's the twins! Toby, Give Toby a hug! You miss Toby? Aww. Oh, and I got tackled from behind. That's oh, Zeker man. Oh, we all miss you guys. Toby, you get to seek a hug? Yeah. Come, Hallie, do you remember? Are we in the right house now? We're not? Do you remember what they look like? Are those your sisters? Who's over here? Who's that bouncy girl? Hi, Livia. She is in the jumper room. Hi. <laughs> I missed you, Livia. Yeah. Yeah, we were on an airplane, and now we're home. Yep, Toby was on the airplane too, and so is Hallie. Yeah, you were here with mommy. Mommy. Oh, good to see you. I'm making a collection of wings. Oh, how many wings do you have now? Two. Cool. Do you remember what she looks like now? <laughs> it's like I don't remember what my family looks like. <laughs> Okay. It feels so good to be home, to be back in a place that's familiar with people I love, with people I care about, and I, I just feel like <sighs> this is where I'm supposed to be. And I think Hallie and Toby are experiencing that and feeling that same way now.